Oma, believe me, I live here. Words cannot express how much I love you. Oma, I want to spend the rest of my life with you. And I want you to be the mother of my children. Please, Oma. Okizi, I know I turned you down. And I'm sorry about that. But at the same time, I am disappointed in you. I mean, I take you as my own brother. I didn't expect you to do that. You also went as far as coming to my house with your father. Even when I didn't say yes to your proposal. Now is that not being childish? You're supposed to be more than that. What do you expect from me? What do you expect from me? I am sorry. Please. We've been friends for so long. I was even present on the day your mother gave birth to you. Oh my. Don't you think we will make a good couple? Oh my, please. I promise never to have anything to do with any other woman. If you accept me as your husband, please. It is not all about that. It... You want to understand? Then make me understand. Make me understand, Oma. Just make me understand. Make me understand. I thought you rejecting all those suitors. They were all just because of me. That you were waiting earnestly on that day that I would propose to you. What was so wrong? Okay, see. You are a good man. And I'm very sure that most maidens in our kingdom would want you as their husband. I do not want another woman. I want you. I want you as my wife. I don't want another. I, 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 I understand your point, but I would also love you to understand that I am not just ready for marriage yet. Oma, please. I can wait for you. Just tell me. Just ask me to wait. I will do that. Please, please. Do not wait for me. Your father wants you to get married as soon as possible. And I do not want to be seen as that devil that is preventing you from doing that. Please, Okizi. Take your time. And choose from any of the maidens. I know you shall find someone that would take good care of you more than you can ever imagine. Please. Just, <laughs> Hmm? Oh, she? She's very well. She's healed now. Eh? Thank your father for me. Oh, thank the gods. I am happy you are now smiling. Unlike when I met you crying. <laughs> My dear, I'm so grateful. Thank you so much. May the gods bless you for me. He say <laughs> she will be fine. Okay. Thank you. Just take good care of her. I will. Mm. I will. <laughs> okay, Zia, my son. Father. I am so happy you have found a maiden you want to marry. Mm. Soon, I shall hear the cries of my grandchildren. 
<laughs> you're right, Father. You're right. You're right. Mm. Um, but Omalicha. Ah, forget about Omalicha. Okay, Zia, forget about Omalicha. She is the daughter of Apalata. That I know. It is like she's under a curse. That is the reason she has refused to get married. You and I know that recently she, re she rejected her sixth suitor. Okay, Zay, let me ask you. Is that supposed to be normal? I disagree with you, Father. Omalicha is not under a curse. She is the daughter of Apalata, a special maiden. That is why almost all men in Umwezu want her as a wife. But the thing is that she is not ready for marriage yet. That is what she told you? Yes, Father, and I believe her. Anyway, we will remain family friends with them. But for now, okay, Zay. Father, for now, let us talk about the maiden you want to marry. Yes, Father. <laughs> Good, good, good evening, my prince. <laughs> Greetings, beautiful maidens of Umwe's kingdom. How are you? We are fine, fine, my prince. <sighs> Do have a good day. Okay. My prince, <laughs> I'm sorry to ask, where is my prince going? Oh, I... I'm going to see someone. <sighs> Do you mind if I come with you? Have a wonderful day. Okay, bye. A murderer. A murderer sits as king in Umez Kingdom. And as the daughter of the gods, you have been commissioned to bring justice to that innocent man that was killed. Do not Do start, start the process, process of breastfeeding a child without, without carrying out this task. Do not, Do not start, start the process, process of breastfeeding a child without carrying out this task. Do not start the process of breastfeeding a child without carrying out this task. My prince, my daughter is only but a child. She has a tendency to misbehave. But I'm so happy you came. Allow me to take it up from here, please. I trust you absolutely, mother. Please help me make her understand what I'm saying. My proposal is from the bottom of my heart. I will. It's okay. Thank you. Greet your parents. The prince left a few minutes uh, ago before you came back. Amalicha, did you hear what I said? Yes, mother. He was actually here to see you. To see me? Yes, to see you. By the way, why didn't you tell me you had an encounter with him the other day? Mother, do I have to tell you now everything that happens in my life? Moreover, it wasn't necessary. I wonder why he came looking for me. You don't know why he came looking for you. Omarita, do you understand that he's the prince of Umwezo? 
the heir apparent to the throne of Umuezu Kingdom. Do you understand that? Yes. So? I met him the other day when I was coming back from the stream with Ekema and Mwakeiko. And I didn't like the way he looked at me. Malicha, how did he look at you? He looked at me like someone that would start asking for my hand in marriage. And what if he asks for your hand in marriage? May the gods forbid, mother. Now I have confirmed that there's something wrong with you. In fact, you're possessed. Mother! Don't mother me! What is wrong with you? Why are you doing this? Oh, Marisha, why are you doing this to me? You have rejected six suitors. Six hard-working suitors that every maiden in Umwezu would die to have. And now the prince is trying to make an attempt to propose. And all you can tell me is the gods forbid. I don't really have anything to tell you right now. But one thing I will tell you is that your own children will treat you exactly the way you're treating me right now. Your own children. That's all I will tell you. The gods forbid. You now go. Do it to your father for me. I'll be on my way. Uh -huh. It looks like you want to go and make peace with your friends. Hmm? Yes, Father. You look troubled. Why? Omalecha? What is it? Father, I'm sorry. Sorry? Sorry for what? Father, I'm, I'm sorry for doing this to you and mother. Believe me, Father, it wasn't intentional. Oh, shh. My daughter, don't say that you are sorry. I've already told you that one day that the gods will do everything right at the appointed time. Oh? You know one? Eh? You will not go and join your friends. But before then, smile for your father. Huh? Ah. The boy boom. Adam. Oh my little Beautiful maidens of Umuiz. I can see you're going to make your beats. Yes, my prince. Can you make one for me? That will be an honor, my prince. Yes, of course. My amiable prince. <laughs> it is yours that I actually want. Mine? I've heard you, my prince. So? Please, um, can, I, can my friends and I continue heading to our destination? Thank you, my prince. Have a nice day. Have a nice day, my prince. Thank you, and have a nice day, too. Thank you. Hey, hey, hey. 
my king. I I didn't mean to steal the beer. Yes, my king, please. You didn't mean to steal them. I was the one that asked him to go and pluck some of the pears. He had nothing to eat. Please, my king. Number just is with me. Just listen to yourself. You had nothing to eat. My king, these people are tips. I caught him. Why? Look at him. Young man, I will ask you again. I know that you are before the revered king of Umwe's kingdom. Did you steal the pears? My king, just like my mother said, eh, we are hungry. We are from a poor home. I did it out of hunger and frustration, my king. Hunger and frustration led you to my country? Thief! Why did you set your mat under your tree and live there? It's a good noble. I don't understand. You don't understand? Because you are a very careless man and a very stupid man too. How does that make me a careless man? I'm telling you that I caught him red handed. I caught him, him. Look at him here. No, had it been that your tree is so important to you, you would have relocated with your mark living on it. Now you have brought this useless case before castle. What is that supposed to be? My king, I don't understand you. Know. We all know the punishment for this kind of crime. Oh yes, we know. We do. My king. We know. Let us understand that the pier is a cash crop. Yes. And when the owner plants it, he intends making money for me to feed his truck. Mm -hmm. And whoever goes and plucks or steals those things without permission is now an enemy of the land. Therefore, young man, you and your mother are banned. <laughs> Please, my king, you can still tap her guess it with mercy. Yes. My king, they only did it out of hunger and frustration. Yes. What are both of you talking about? Huh? Must you speak like strangers in your land? Don't you, have you forgotten the, the customs and tradition of this land? Have you forgotten? They have fasted simply to feed. It does not, not to sell. It does, yes. not, it does not make any difference. Yes. Oh. So, uh, good, no good, it is the same thing. My king. This thing is going to a particular direction. I don't even understand. Ask them that question again. Because even if the king can pass mercy with justice or justice with mercy, how are you sure that these people are not going to do this in a case? Exactly the point. These are unrepentant criminals. What are they? will still go back to you say they are all the best that you caught them before? If they were hungry as they are claiming, why, what stopped them from coming to the Igwe to tell him? What stopped them? Are you not seeing it? Be quiet. <laughs> My decision is final. Yes. God. Take this man and this woman away. Don't I live long, My King. My King, please. My King, please. My King, please. You shall live long, My King. Why don't you come to the king if you are hungry? You should have come to the king. No, a good noble said he should relocate, carry his mat to the pear tree. Uh, yes, but they were only trying to eat. That is just it. It does not they make permission. any difference. They did not take permission. No, they can beg. Let them go begging instead of stealing. Yes. No. Hey. Greetings, <laughs> my friend. Who are they and what did they do and where are you taking them? Piers. <laughs> so where are you taking them? They have been banished. <laughs> banished. <laughs> For stealing piers. <laughs> My please, you are sorry. Please, my please. Ah, my friends. My please, please. So, can we proceed with our meeting? Because as far as I'm concerned, this is a closed case. Yes. Exactly. Greetings, my For king. Sure. Greetings, my elders. How are you, son? I'm fine, father. 
And I was just told you banished that boy and his mother now. Yes, they stole someone's cash crop with the excuse that they were hungry and frustrated. Father, you shouldn't have banished them. I mean, they could have actually been hungry and frustrated. Are you questioning my order? No, Father. All I'm trying to say is that the punishment is greater than the crime. How dare you? The king has spoken. The king has spoken. You may now leave us. The king has spoken. The king has spoken. Can you hear what spoken? The king has spoken. Uh, uh, my king. Uh, he is still a boy. Oh, yes. That is true, my king. That is true. Very soon, he will get to understand all this. Yes, he is still a boy. I agree. But I equally want us to agree that he is old enough to know that his father's heart is made of stone. What? Huh? He goes to Did you just say that about our king? Uh, but I, I, I just told us the truth. It's just the truth. How can you say it, 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 that about the king? No, no, the son said it indirectly. No, no, but you are the one saying it directly. Uh, but you, it was said. I'm sorry, father. Listen, son. You are the prince and you are the heir apparent to the throne of this kingdom of Nubuis. You need to understand that there is punishment for every crime committed. I understand, father. But you should have shown mercy to that woman and her son. Apologies, Father. Forgive me. So, what was it you wanted to tell me? Ah. Father, I have found a maiden I want to marry. For a lot. This is good news. So, who is this maiden? Her name is Omalika. Omalika? Yes. The daughter of Obalum the healer. You're not serious, are you? I don't understand, Father. I mean, is it not that same maiden that um, they said has rejected all the men who have asked for her hand in marriage because she's the daughter of Abalata? Yes, the same maiden. You see, Father, I never knew she was this beautiful until I ran into her recently. And I am convinced she cannot turn down my proposal. Oh, well, <laughs> you are the prince. You can't say no to you. <laughs> Well, have you proposed to her already? Not yet, Father. What are you still waiting for? Nothing, but I will do that soon. Okay, good. Go do it and then get back to me as soon as you're done. I will, Father. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Let me run along. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> ah. Please, my prince, let us go to the front hut. And I said I am okay. I'm not complaining, am I? I know you are not. But if people see you sitting here with me, they will say that Upupwe has taken the prince of Umwezu to the back of her hut. Um, people will always talk. I don't care what they say. I'm the prince, and I can stay anywhere I want to stay. Okay, my prince, if you insist. I do, thank you. So how is your husband? He has gone out to get some herbs. Oh, I see. He's about the best healer of our time, you know. Thank you, my prince. He's a grace of the gods. And um, Omalita, how is she? I guess she's not around. Hmm. That one. She has gone out with her friends. Bead making, I guess. You already know that. Of course. Mother! Oh, Omalita. Omalita. Uh, where are you going? Somewhere. Please, can I go with you to that somewhere? All right, my prince. Uh, mother, I will, I will see you soon. Okay? Oh, take care of yourself. Um, um, I'm Oh, 
Omali Cham. Your mother gave you the right name because you're a very beautiful woman. Now I have seen why almost every man in Umwez wants to have you as a wife. You're beautiful. You come from a good home. And most of all, you're the daughter of Apalata. A daughter of the gods. You know you're a special child. Come on, smile for me. Greetings, my prince. Greetings, beautiful maidens of Umuizu. How are you? We are fine, my prince. Do have a nice day. Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine, my prince. Um, my prince. Yes? I... I want to ask you a question. Okay, go ahead. What do you want? I love that question. I want you. I don't understand. I want to marry you. I have already told your mother and my father, the king, about it. <laughs> Ginika! Ginika! I am not happy! I am not happy, Ginika! I am still not happy. I am wondering what he is still doing with that girl, Omalicha. <laughs> what else do you think? What else do you think? Don't you think that Prince Obidike wants to propose to this girl? Let the gods forbid! Is Omalicha the only maiden in this kingdom? Is she? That is what I don't understand. Why must all the men in this kingdom want to propose to that daughter of the gods? I, I mean, is she the only maiden in this kingdom? Eh? Is she the only maiden in this kingdom, Kinika? Don't worry. You know she's cursed. She will probably say no to the prince. Just calm down, relax! I can't wait to hear that happen. Ginika, I can't wait to hear that happen because I cannot afford to lose Prince Obidike to any maiden. I cannot afford because I want Prince Obidike. I want him. Neither do I want to lose the prince to any maiden in this kingdom. What is it? Hey, I just told you the truth. <laughs> Who doesn't love the prince? I understand how you feel. Take your time to think about it, okay? I'm not expecting you to give me an answer here and now. So may I see you off to your father's house before heading back to the palace? I know my way. I insist. My prince, please, do not bother walking me home. Like I said earlier, I know my way. She is the best. She must be for the prince. My king and fellow elders, in the entire history of Umwezu land, no maiden has ever rejected the number of suitors that she rejected. And if you ask me, I will tell you that this is the sign of trouble. Oh yes. <coughs> if you ask me, I think it is because She's the daughter of Apalata. Yes. My king, fellow cheers. Could it be that the gods warned her not to get married at all? But why would the gods do such a thing? They're not crazy, are they? Uh, the other daughters of Apalata we had before her all got married. What eats and destroys in seed is inside the seed. So, she alone knows the reason. 
<laughs> it is amazing how we are busy in council. Here in council, discussing a maiden. Eche, need I remind you that she is the daughter of the gods and our fellow masquerade like us? Of course. I know. And that explains why she has refused to settle for any of the suitors coming for her hand in marriage. Let me tell her something. Even if the king himself proposes to that maiden today, she is going to turn that proposal down. Uh-uh. Huh? Uh. Very good, Nubi. Mind your words. Why the warning? I just told you the truth, Your Majesty. The truth makes. Anyway, my only concern is that my son has chosen to marry this same maiden we are talking about. Oh, Malicha. It really worries me that since after her birth, no other woman knows given birth to a child during the week of the Abalata festival. They've either given birth after the week or before the week. None during the week of the festival. And I begin to ask myself, does it have anything to do with the gods? Well, I can't tell my king. My king, I don't know. Neither do I, my king. Uh, my king, if you as our king, who is the head of all principalities and powers in this land, do not know, then who are we to know? And I suggest we gather a group of seers to make a combined consultation. Something will surely come up. Is your word, sir? You have spoken well. There is sense in what he said. I believe that is the way forward. Uh, uh, but I have a problem. Our king, will he buy into this wonderful idea? A good no. Uh, why are you sounding like this? The king is already bothered. That's why he got out this meeting. Of course. Of course. That is it. Uh, but does it mean that you elders actually want to hear it from my mouth? Um, it's you, a good in good. You've said enough. It's cool. It's your balloon. Um, that was what Julius' mother told me. But all is well. The gods are wise. Indeed. All right. Mm -hmm. What of uh, how about uh, your son, Okizi, and his wife? How are they? Oh, they are doing fine. Good. His wife is already pregnant. Huh? And soon, I shall carry my grandchild. Did you? What you? Oh, tell. Ah! I envy you. Greetings, my father. Oh, greetings, Amalicha. How are you? Very well, Father. Adamne, you are back. What did you go to? I... I went to... Are you okay? I'm very well, Father. How is Okezi and his wife? Oh, they are fine. Extend my greetings to him. I will. It's your mm -hmm. Is anything wrong with your daughter? Mm -hmm. I don't understand. What did Prince Obidike tell you? Or what has he been telling you? That he likes you. And? He wants to marry you.
Is father aware of that? Not yet. Go on. Go on with what? What did you tell him? Who? Please don't be dick, of course. No answer yet. Omalecha, no answer yet. Mother, please, I'm going to Ekema's house. Cham. Your mother gave you the right name because you're a very beautiful woman. Now I have seen why almost every man in Umwez wants to have you as a wife. You're beautiful. You come from a good home. And most of all, you're the daughter of a palata. Mother sits as king in Ume's kingdom and as the daughter of the gods, you have been commissioned to bring justice to that innocent man that was killed. Do not, Do not start, start the start process of breastfeeding a child, child without carrying out this task. Do not, Do not start, start the process of breastfeeding a child without carrying out this task. Same voice, same words. He will marry me and will surely get me pregnant. Then I will start the process of breastfeeding my child. Oh, how do I explain all this to these people? <laughs> oh Malita, must you always finish before us? I just don't understand how she does it. Ekema and I started making ours before you came. And now you are done. The reason is that my hands are magical. No. The reason is that you are the daughter of Apalata. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you are not serious. <laughs> but actually, I will admit that the gods are always assisting me in a lot of ways. You can say that again, Oma. You know, I am looking at the bead you just made. And it looks masculine. You made it for the prince, right? What do you mean by that? You don't understand what I mean by that. <laughs> Omalicha, have you forgotten what the prince told us the other day? That he would want us to make him a bid. But yours precisely. Stop it! Stop it, both of you! Stop what, Oma? Stop what? Yeah? Do not tell me that if the prince comes to ask for your hand in marriage, 
you will say no to him. Agwakwalamu, don't try it too. Omalita, you better not say no to Prince Obidike if he asks for it. Omalita, ugo bo ibo, omu masaru. Hey, asan pete wanyoma. I know what you want to hear. You do? Good, so tell me. You need an answer to your proposal, right? Exactly! <laughs> so? I am sorry. I am not interested. What? Amalita? 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 Amalita! What were you trying to do? Hold her? She was walking out on you, my prince. She had no right to do that. Dad. She has every right to do anything she pleases. She's Amalita, the daughter of the gods, daughter of Apalata. She's a respected masquerade of Umuizu Kingdom. So don't you ever try to stop her again. It could backfire. I'm sorry, my friends. Follow your heart, follow your destiny. Omalicha, daughter of the gods. Blessing to the land, shining like the sun. Omalicha, daughter of the gods. Follow your heart. She said no, father. What? She said no to you? How can she say no to the prince of Wales? What is wrong with that lady? How? Oh, I can't allow that to happen. I must intervene. No, no, father, no, don't, not now. She's a woman. A very oh. special one at that. I'll try again. Say so, son. But she had better not say no to you again. Who does she even think she is? Does she know who you are? The heir apparent to the throne of Muezu Kingdom? Huh. It's okay, father. Amalisa, what did you say? What did you say? I said no to the prince's proposal. Hi! Why? Why, Amalita? Why? Why? Why are you doing this? Amalita, why? Hi! Chimbo. Mother, I have told you severally that I am not just ready for marriage. Why can't you understand that? Who's the fact? Hey! Malita. what is happening here? Huh? What is it, my wife? Huh? Amalita said no to the prince. Oh. Is that why you are crying? I have told you to leave this child alone. Stop looking at her with your tears. When this daughter of man sees the right man, she will say yes to him. Nay. No. Yes. Is that what you're saying? Is that all you have to say? Hey, Nye. Hey! It's okay. I don't know, but this is not good. Calm down. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Is that all you have to say? Hey! What? Hey. It's okay. It's okay, but make sure you don't harm yourself. Huh? Let me go and get some house. Oh, this is no good. This is no good. Hey, Amalita. Amalita, why are you doing this? Hey, Amalita.
of wisdom. What is wrong with that lady? How? Oh, I can't allow that to happen. I must intervene. No, no, father, no, don't, not now. If I allow him to intervene, what will happen? What will he do? It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense at all. She's only being a woman. I will follow her at my pace and I will get her. <laughs> Prince Obidike. <laughs> it's here, good in Ogu. You know you look exactly like your father when he was a young man. Hmm. The only difference is that he was a very stubborn young man then. Even now as a king, he is a very stubborn king. <laughs> <laughs> Each year, everyone has their own personality traits. I agree with you. And that possibly will be the explanation to your having sleepless nights over our Malicha when we have other beautiful maidens in this kingdom. Each year, you must admit with me that Omalicha is a special maiden. She's a daughter of the gods. She's unique. Really? Yes. So I have come to seek your help. Seek my help? Yes, Ichie. How? Ichie, you know you are a well-respected man in this kingdom. No, not only in this kingdom. I am a man of this kingdom who has earned respect in this kingdom and even beyond. Good. <laughs> and that is why I want you to help me talk sense into Amalicha. I want her to understand that I have feelings for her. I want her to know I want her to be the mother of my unborn children. Is that all? Yes, it is. My prince, did you know you are blind and completely senseless? I don't understand it, Chase. Is that not an insult? No, not an insult. I am making a statement of fact. How could you? How could you be dying slowly? Having sleepless nights over a maiden who already rejected six of her suitors and now you have made yourself the seventh suitor she's rejecting i understand the chief but I, I i don't know what to do about it very simple forget that maiden who is rejecting her suitors and look at another maiden in this kingdom no i mean she only rejected me once and how many times are you hoping to have a maiden reject you as the prince of this kingdom before you really sort under it listen obdk i called you here because i I have a solution to this problem of yours. You do? <laughs> yes. Is she a good noble? I don't can't come. Is she? Oh, yeah, Dika. Father. Come. <laughs> She is Onyedika, my daughter. Oh, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Is she not almost like the daughter of the gods? Yeah, she, no. she's beautiful. Onyedika, listen, I, I want you to take the prince on a walk. Of course, father. <laughs> I will just take it. Thank you, dear. <sighs> Omale chao bugini ni migada Onye nubi nugiju Onye anabi nugiju Onye ye kunki nano Ye bala nyegare omale chao Omale chao bugini ni migi omale chao Omale chao bugini ni migada Onye nubi nugiju Onye anabi nugiju Onye ye kunke na no ye bala ye gale o malecha. My prince, I've always dreamt of a day like this. How do you mean? 
I have always had a crush on you, my prince. <laughs> really? Yes, my prince. <laughs> How would you know when one has a crush on you? Mm. The person always think of you, always dream of you, and always admire you. Just even admiring you right now. <laughs> you mean you have been doing all that? Yes, my prince. I've been doing all that. <laughs> I've been admiring you. But it's so sad you never noticed me. But thank the gods for my father, who has always made this dream come true. <laughs> Can I ask you a question? Yes, my prince. <laughs> what would you do if someone you love does not love you back? I would do everything possible for him to love me back. <laughs> really? Yes, my prince. I see. <laughs> Let, let's keep going. <laughs> My beautiful wife, I am back. Mm. Why are you in this mood? Crying? Hey! Talk to me, my love. Don't call me that. Don't ever call me that. I mean, why are you sounding like this? Huh? You ask as if you don't know. Know what? Why are you and Omalicha doing this to me? Hi. Nay, why are you doing this to me? Why are both of you doing this to me? Why are you both doing this to me? But I have, I, have, I have advised you to leave these things for the gods. Before you know it now, within a short time, eh, all these things will pass away. And we shall see you and carry our grandchildren. Oh? In our graves. We will carry our grandchildren in our graves now. The gods, the gods will be it. Now you have to do something. Tell your daughter, our Malicha, to accept Obidike's proposal. Let her just accept to be the case proposal now, Biko. Something about this. said no to my son. This is very serious, my king. No, wait. My king. You mean she said no to the prince? She gave him up. She made him believe that he was the one for her. And just when he was about to pay her bright price and then bring her home, she said she's no longer interested. It is established, my king. This maiden may be under a curse. And I think she needs help. Oh, my little. She has just rejected her seventh suitor. Prince Obidike, as a matter of fact. Who does she think she is? Who does she think she is? To reject the prince of Mueso? She's the daughter of the gods, yes. But for crying out loud, what gave her the mind to think that she could uh, include my son on that her list of rejected suitors? Is that not an insult? Yes, she's the daughter of the gods. And so what? My king, look into what I said already. She is the daughter of the gods. And we owe it to the gods to help her. She needs help right now. And what made you go into such a conclusion? Her continued rejection of suitors. It's obviously weird, can't you say, my king? And then again, 
no maiden in her right senses will reject the prince. I think Ichio Jemba has a point there, my king. My king. Well, let us not all conclude yet. Because my son, the prince, has said that he was going to try again. Um, but I just told him, he, she had better not reject him again. Else, I will intervene. That's all right. But my king, I am still wondering what the prince is doing with Oyendika, Ichiego Dinongu's daughter. I don't understand. My king, I have seen them in a suggestive situation. I know what I'm saying. Ichiego Dinogu's daughter? Yes, my king. <laughs> my prince. <laughs> my prince. Yes? Am I not lucky and blessed? Of course you are lucky and blessed. Mm -hmm. You are the daughter of Ichiego Dinogu and a beautiful maiden of Omoezu Kingdom. That's not what I mean. I mean, am I not lucky and blessed to have you as my husband to be? <laughs> <laughs> yes, my prince. I can't wait to be the queen of Mwezu kingdom. <laughs> uh, can I ask you a question? Sure, my prince. What makes a daughter of Apalata a special maiden? The reason is that she's a daughter of the gods. A fellow masquerade like all the initiated men. Evil men cannot target her, for it is believed that the gods are always with her. You should know that, my prince. Come on! Of course I know that. <laughs> so why did you ask? Wait, wait a minute. We only have one daughter of Palata in this kingdom, and that is Omaricha. Are you indirectly asking me what is so special about her? No, of course. I was just trying to find out if you know our customs and tradition. Of course, I do know our customs. <laughs> <laughs> You're a very beautiful maiden, you know. Mm -hmm. Thank you, my friends. <laughs> <laughs> Have you been to Ibo Titi before? Um, yes, my prince. I've been to Ibo Titi before. Really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Okay, I, I want us... I know what you want to do when we get there. What? <laughs> That's where you want to propose to me. <laughs> A murderer. A mother sits as king in Umezu kingdom and as the daughter of the gods you have been commissioned to bring justice to that innocent man that was killed. Do not, Do not start, start the process, the process of breastfeeding a child without carrying out this task. Do not start the process of breastfeeding a child without carrying out this task. Do not start the process of breastfeeding a child without carrying out this task. Do not not start the process of breastfeeding a child without carrying out this task. Do not not start the process of breastfeeding a child without carrying out this task. Very soon, Father. I, Onyedika, shall get married to Prince Obidike of Umwezu Kingdom. That is courtesy of your father. Is she a good in Ogu of the same Mumu as a kingdom? Thank you, Father. You're welcome, my child. Thank you. You know, you are the best. Mm. Seriously. The prince was um, going off lane. Aye. He was going insane. Mm. And someone needed to sit him down to open his eyes for him to understand that there is something special. Mm. Something very oh. precious in this kingdom oh. that is actually bigger than the so called daughter oh. of the gods. And that is you, my child. <laughs> Father, thank you. You are the best. Of course, I am the best. <laughs> you know that yourself. This is Ishiye. 
ego you know oh. of this land. Oh yeah. And very soon, <laughs> practically all the maidens in this land shall come and bow before you as their queen. Thank you. I'm so so happy. You have every reason to be my child. Don't worry yourself. You are the best. <laughs> <laughs> um, Father, let me go and get the palm wine so we can celebrate. Go ahead and get it. We have to celebrate by that. Oh my God! I'm so happy. You should be happy because everything is working. Is she a good Are you serious? Of course I am. So how come she never told us about that? You know how reserved Omalicha can be. I wouldn't have known about that. If not that her mother complained to me about it. Cheriko, Wakigo. You mean to tell me that the prince, I mean Prince Obedike, asked for Omalicha's hand in marriage and she declined? According to her mother, Yes, she told him outrightly that she was not interested. Yele! Ye! Mba! Wakego! This is not normal. Do you think your friend is still sane? You think Omaricha is still okay? Ekema. One, two, three, four, five. Six and seven, including Prince Obidike, seven suitors rejected. <laughs> when you and I have not even seen one suitor. Ume. Oh, talking of which, Wakego, did you know that I saw Prince Obidike and Onyedika? Onyedika. Uh -huh. Ichi Ego de Nogu's daughter. Ha! I saw them. And as I talk to you now, I think those two are having something. Mm. Yes! I. Welcome, mother. Thank you, my daughter. Hey, Kemma. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Oh, oh. Thank you, my dear. Um, we are not complete. What of Omaricha? Um, we haven't seen her today, mother. Yes, ma. Not all is well. Not all is well, mother. Yes. yes. Mother, is this a butter for me? <laughs> Let's go to the kitchen. <laughs> I am coming too. <laughs> <laughs> My prince, I don't like the way you look these days. I mean, you have everything that makes a man happy. Is that what you think? It is not what I think, but what I know. You know that I have everything that makes a man happy. Exactly. Okudili, you are my best friend and you should know better. You should know there is something I'm desperately lacking. Or that's something I need so urgently. What would that be? No. Wait a minute. Don't tell me it is Omaleja that you're talking about. Exactly. I'm talking about Omaleja. I need her in my life. I, I, I need her to be my wife. What's funny? You are funny. <laughs> How? How? Huh? I thought you've already changed your mind. I mean, I thought Onyedika is now the woman in your life. What was that for? 
I'm not interested in Onyedika. Are you kidding me? I'm serious. How? What happened? I, 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 I discovered she... She has this very funny character. She has a tendency of jumping into conclusions and, 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 and making assumptions without reasoning. That is not the kind of woman I want to spend the rest of my life with. I... I don't understand. But... Why... Why did you... Commit yourself to her? Okudili, I did not commit myself to her. I only did what I did because I did not want to disobey Ichiego Dinogu, who is a member in council. Hi. Is Oye the guy of this? Not yet, but I, I intend to tell her soon. Sent for you. Tell him I'll be him soon. Uh, in that case, <clears throat> I should be on my way. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. Yes, Father. It's okay. You've been scarce at the palace these days. Is there anything I should know? No, Father. Are you sure? Yes, Father. It's all right. So what is this thing about you and Onyedika, Itie Godinogu's daughter? Nothing, Father. We're just friends. You're just friends? Yes, Father. Since when did you become friends? Not quite long, Father. Mm. It's okay. Um, I tried asking Ichie Godinobu, but he said I should ask you, and that is why I'm asking you now. Are you sure you're not having an affair with her? No, Father. If I was, I would let you know. It's all right. So, what about our maiden, Omalicha? Have you proposed to her a second time? No, not yet, Father. What do you mean, not yet? What are you waiting for? Or do you need me to intervene? No, 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 Father. No, I don't need you. Don't worry about me. I'll handle it. I will follow it gradually. It's all right. You may leave. Thank you, Father. Oma, I missed you. Okay, Z, you are now a married man. And so, does that stop me from missing my friend? Not really. So, what are you saying? I missed you too, though, but <clears throat> you stayed away for too long this time. Yeah. Didn't you miss your wife? I did. I had to help my mother to cultivate Anya. After which, he pleaded with me to stay with her for a while. That's it. That's good. <laughs> so, how is she? We thank the gods of all, and she's doing great. Um, where are your parents? My father went to heal a man who suddenly got paralyzed and my mother went to see her friend oh, okay um Oma, can i ask you a question mm -hmm. go ahead please why are you still single i heard that you recently rejected prince obdk's proposal 
Oma. You would not understand. Yes? Prince Obiteke just told me that he's no longer interested in me. What? How can that be? What happened? I don't know. I didn't do anything. I don't know. All my dreams of becoming a queen just died. Oh, you cannot say a thing like that. Your dream cannot die. It's not possible. But my dear, there is no way he will wake up and cancel everything without something happening. Can you tell me what happened, please? Just sit down. Tell me what happened. Why would he cancel everything? Father, I don't know. I don't know. I didn't do anything. <laughs> Can you stop talking, Obidike? Why did you do that? Like I said before, Ichiego Dinobo, your daughter is not the maiden I am interested in. Fine, she is a good woman, but not the woman I want to spend the rest of my life with. So who is this maiden you want to spend the rest of your life with? Who? Amalita, of course. It is established. You are sick in the head, Obidike. You are. Ichiego Dinobu, do not insult me. What are you talking about? You came to my house and took my daughter to deceive her and give her false hope. A right of correction. I did not take your daughter. You gave her to me. And I obeyed because you are an elder in council. So do not come here and heap, heap allegations on me. Is this what you are telling me? That is what it is. Look at you. You want to spend the rest of your life with the daughter of the gods. You want to be husband to a Malaysia. I shall be waiting for you to force her to be your wife. Let's see how it goes. We are looking at you in this kingdom. Useless. Useless piece of that kingdom. You want to be married to the daughter of the gods? Who do you think you are? You deceive my daughter, you think you can go free in this kingdom? I am going to give it. Mark it something. What is wrong with this man? What kind of a human being is this? Follow your heart. Follow your destiny Oh my child, daughter of the gods Blessing to the land Shining like the sun Oh my child, daughter of the gods Follow your heart Follow your destiny My prince, I'm so honored you came I also feel honored each time I'm with you My prince who am I to make you feel honored? You are the mother of the special maiden of Umwezu. Do you know what that is? And I am sure she took a lot after you. As a matter of fact, without you, she would not be in existence. Mm. And it's obvious she took her beauty from you. <laughs> Thank you, my prince. You're welcome. Anyway, where is she? Is she around? No. She went out with her friends. Oh, that's all right. My prince, please forgive my daughter. I don't know what is wrong with her. But I want to assure you that she's your wife to be already. Please forgive her. Mother, you don't have to apologize. I understand perfectly. I just want you to know that I have genuine and strong feelings for her. And I want to spend the rest of my life with her. Hold on. I brought this for you. For me? What is it? Uncover it.
Ah, I know this pot. It's the expensive pot of Otangele Fetiani. Did you bring this for my daughter? Oh no, <laughs> for you. It's a special gift from me to you. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. This is the highest gift anyone can give to a woman of Umwezu Kingdom. Thank you. You're welcome. The gods will guide you. We say. May they protect you. We say. May they guide you. We say. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Hey. Oh, what? A pot of Watanjali Vidani? Papa, let me see. Who gave it to you? From where did you get it? Mother, this is the almighty, expensive pot of Watanjali Vidani. Uh, Mother, who gave you this? Who gave it to you? Uh, the prince. Yes. He was here, eh? Yes, he asked uh, after you. He gave you a pot of what Angelis Fidani. That's awesome. But for what reason? My, how can you ask me that question? Now you and I know that the pot of what Angelis Fidani is the highest gift anyone can give to a woman of this kingdom. And the priest just gave me this. For what reason? That's what I'm asking. Give me. See, you. Look, listen very well. You must marry Prince Obidike. I regret allowing you to reject other suitors. You see, Prince Obidike, his case is different. And you must marry him, whether you like it or not. I have the God to even touch the pot. Ah, Ogugwe. Please. Hmm? Take it easy. <laughs> oh, yeah, Dika, please. You have to build your own confidence. Build your confidence and reject it from the deepest part of your heart. He is not worth your tears at all. Father, what do you mean I should reject him? He is a big fish! Yes, I know he is a big fish! And he just slipped off my hook! But Mr. Bidika is not the only big fish in the water! Why are you crying? Father, that's not true! That's not true! Prince Obidike is the only big fish in the water! Listen, my child, I know you are crying because of Omalisha. But let me tell you something. Omalisha is going to reject you. Why are you crying? Sit down! It is okay, sit down, let me tell you something. Sit down! <laughs> Don't cry because of that. Don't waste your tears because of nonsense. Something is going to happen in the future that will make you to cry. And that will be tears of joy. If you waste all your tears crying now over this nonsense, and that time to cry comes, where will the tears of joy come from? Where? Oh, Malita, this your continued rejection of suitors is really getting out of hand. And just so you know, some people are beginning to say that you are under a curse. Mm. Oh, Malita, how could you include Prince Obidike on your list of rejected suitors? That's crazy. And let me refresh your memory because I know you already know that the prince is now going out to me Iche Ego Dinogu's daughter. Would you want to lose this great opportunity? <sighs> Both of you are making it seem like it's my fault. Of course it is. It is your fault. Oh Malisha, look at me. Look at Wake Ego. Yeah. Not even one suitor has come to ask for a hand in marriage. But here you are, rejecting suitors. Seven, Alma, seven suitors, including the respected prince of our land. Do you think you are still sane? I can, I can, I can, it's not my fault. It is not your fault. Please, spare. 
tell me that. Send me that explanation. Whose fault is it? Okay, let me ask you. Do you know that your, your, this your rejection of sisters has a whole lot to do with us as your friend? It could be blocking our lot. Okay, you don't even know. Don't call my name. Oh. Do not call me. Answer me. Do you? You don't. And you don't even care. Oh, Malicha. Please. I don't want you to feel badly. But at the same time, I want you to tell us what your problem is. We are your friends. Omalicha, I want you to take yourself outside your body and look at yourself. And you will see you are behaving abnormally. I am sorry. I didn't mean to shout at you, Oma. I am only doing what a true friend would do. Be cool. Malita, Ekema is right. We are sorry. Just tell us what the problem is. Be cool. Greetings, Greetings, beautiful maidens of Umuizu. I hope you all are doing very well. Yes, yes, yes. yes. How are you, Amalicha? Very well, my prince. Actually, it's you I've come to see. Me? How did you know I'm here? <laughs> I'm the prince of Umuizu. I can get any information I want. I guess you're beginning to stalk me. No, no, far from it. Though it seems so, but no. Um, can you go on a walk with me? Please, uh I beg you. Oh, all right, my prince. I'll see you later. Yes, fine. Right. Take care. Are you alright? I'm very well. But your face doesn't look like you are. That's better. I... I saw the pot of Otanjali Fitani you gave my mother. She's still happy about it. She deserves more than that because she's a special woman, just like you. I want to know your other reason for giving my mother the pot of Otangeli Fitani. Come on, Omanicha. I am attracted to you and you know it. I need you in my life. I need you to be my wife. And I doubt you, you are unaware of this. Really? Yes. Can I ask you a question? Go ahead. When... When... Did this sudden attraction develop? 
From the first day I saw you on your way to the stream. Since that day I haven't been able to do anything. All I have done is think and dream about you. Really? Yes. What about Sonia Dika? Who is Sonia Dika? You don't remember her. Wait, you mean Ichie Godnobu's daughter? Yes, what about her? Isn't she the one you want to marry? <laughs> Who told you that? Isn't she the one? That's false information. I never thought about marrying her. You are the one I always want to get married to. Why are you doing this to me? What am I doing? You are avoiding me and you know it. And what makes you think I am avoiding you? Because you have refused to get married to me. You haven't said anything. You have refused to say yes. Just that you haven't told any of your previous suitors. And that hurts. In that case, I am going to give you the same answer. Which is? No. She gave me hope. But finally she said no to me and walked out on me. What? She said no to you again? This is a great insult. Not just to you, but to me, isn't that to say? What does she think she is? Oh. Anyway, I know what to do. This insult must be tackled headlong. Mm. This guy. Ichem Banefo and Ishio Balum. Greetings, my elders. Mm. Greetings. Greetings. Ichio Balum. The king has requested to see you in the palace this evening. Is there any problem? Ichem Banefo, I am only a messenger. Mm. Well, tell him I shall be there. What do you think? I don't know. I don't know. But until I get there, I will get to know. I am on my way. My husband. Huh? What is the reason for this sudden invitation? I don't know, but when I get there, I shall find out. Hi, uh, Father, hmm? did the guard say anything? He didn't, but both of you should stop worrying. Hmm? I shall be on my way. Oh? Hi. Mother. Are you aware that my son, Prince Obidike, is interested in your daughter? Your Majesty, there's an Naduzi of Umezu. I am aware. Good. Are you also aware that your daughter rejected my son's marriage proposal? Not once, but twice. Not to my knowledge. I am not aware, my king. It's your battle. Are you aware that it is an insult for your daughter to reject my son's marriage proposal? My son is the prince of Umwezu. I know, my king. But please, temper justice with mercy. Forgive my daughter. Well, we all know that your daughter is the daughter of Apalata. We know that she's the daughter of the gods. And I am aware that she has rejected all the suitors who have asked for her hand in marriage. That is not my concern. My concern is, why would she reject the prince's proposal? <laughs> 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 
Your Majesty. Is in a doozy of news. The Reverend King of our kingdom. Marriage. Marriage is deeper than what my eyes can see. And the spirit that initiates and controls marriages is different from every other spirit. That is why I stand here to advocate that nobody was be forced to marry anyone. <clears throat> Hmm. My elders, you all heard what he said. Is it not an insult? Indeed, it was my king. Oh, I will deal with him. <laughs> Your Majesty, you will not do anything to that man. It's you, a good look. What did you just say? Hey, Your Majesty, you heard me. You are not going to deal with this, your balloon. We have to be telling ourselves the truth. It was wrong for the king to have ordered the invitation of that man before council in the first place. Really? Omalisha, the daughter, is the one the prince wants to marry. She is the one that should be invited before council. Is it this your balloon that the prince wants to get married to? So why should we bring this council to Redeco? By inviting a nobleman of this kingdom who is actually an insheer before council to question him on the private decision made by the daughter. That is wrong. We should be telling the king the truth. We are supporting the king to deal with him. Deal with him for what? A good no. 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 Why are you putting us through all this? Let go of your demons and do what you're supposed to do. What is she supposed to do? She should get married to Prince Obidike. Okay. I have warned you time without number to stop mounting pressure on this daughter of mine. Just like I told the king, no one must be forced to marry anybody. Marriage is not by force. When she sees the right man, she will get married. Forgive me, mother. Please. I should forgive you. When you keep doing the same thing always. <laughs> Mother, I promise to get married when the right man comes. When the right man comes. Prince Obidike is not the right man. Manager, it's not fair. Malacha, what you're doing is not fair. What you are doing is not fair. What do you want, Emma? It's not just fair. <laughs> I don't get it, Father. Are you trying to tell me Ichi Egodinogu advised that Omalita be summoned before you and the elders in council? Yes. Remember, she's the daughter of the gods. And like every other initiated man, she's a masquerade. So she can be summoned. That is not my point, father. So what is your point? Ichi Egodinogu is not committed to my getting married to Omalita. How do you mean? He was the one who forced his daughter on Yedika on me. He wanted me to get married to her. When I told him she wasn't the kind of maiden I want to get married to, he got angry with me and has remained so since then. Well, I don't see how this is related to Omalicha appearing before the elders and council and myself. I mean, she has to come and explain to us 
why she refused your proposal. Come on, Father, you can read the handwriting on the wall. Well, it's not clear enough. She has to appear before us. Ha! Huh. I am bothered. I am, I am bothered. And what is bothering you? It's about Prince Obidiki. Kinika. What about him? I don't want to lose him. Huh? You don't want to lose him? Yes. I mean, why is it taking him so much time to notice my beauty? I mean, Kinika, take a good look at me. Huh? Mm -hmm. Just look at me, Kinika. Um, what is your point? I mean, why is Prince Obidike wasting his time hoping to marry that cursed daughter of the gods? Who has rejected him twice? Kinika, twice! Um, <sighs> what do you want to do about it? I want Prince Obidike. But, but I don't know how to go about it. <laughs> Say with me, I want Prince Obidike to be my husband, but I don't know how to go about it. I love him. Ginika. Ginika. <laughs> Ginika, why are you so pathetic? Why are you so pathetic, Ginika? What do you mean? You are making good use of your mouth. Allow me to make use of mine. What is your own? My, what is your problem? Ginika, I'm warning you. Hey. I am warning you, Ginika. Stay away from my man. Oh, he what? is my dream husband. Please, Obidike, he's mine. Or what? Please tell me what I let say out of here. <laughs> Excuse me. Which Prince Obidika are you talking about? <sighs> Kinika, who is this? Huh? I don't know who invited her to this matter. <laughs> Please, just shift. Let's. Don't worry. Well, if you must know, the same Prince Obidika that you know. And you called him your man? <laughs> my future husband. How dare you call my man your man? <laughs> Kinika, one hand. Are you out? Hey, it's okay. Hey, it's okay now. What is it? Let me see. Let me see. What is it? Let me see. 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 My beautiful wife. Hey. My husband. How are you? Mm. And how are you people doing today? <laughs> I'm fine, my husband. Are you? I thank the gods of all out. Mm. Where is my father? Is he inside? Uh, no. He just left. Did he tell you where he was going to? He left for his family to have Ah, that's true, that's true. It's okay, I will be inside. I hope there is food in the house. Uh-uh. Of course, don't you trust me again? Oh, I always trust <laughs> you. <laughs> um, I'll be preparing this, this night. Mm, I can't wait to eat this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My husband. What, what is, is wrong with Omarisha? Is she your balloon's daughter? Omarisha, did anything happen to her? Yes. She has refused to get married. She even rejected Prince Obidike. Hmm. Obin. Correct me if I'm wrong. Was that why you called me back? Yes, my husband. And what is your business if she's not married yet? It's not my business. But I think she's cursed. And why would you think something like that? Can't you see? She rejected seven suitors that came asking for her hand in marriage. Which includes you. 
Listen to me and listen very good. That girl is not under a curse. That innocent girl should be left alone to make her own choice. Like I said earlier, I am hungry. And I hope you will not call me back again. Oh, my husband. <laughs> my husband. <laughs> <laughs> A murderer. A murderer sits as king in Umezu kingdom. And as the daughter of the gods, you have been commissioned to bring justice to that innocent man that was killed. Do, Do not, not start, start the, process the process of breastfeeding a child, child without, without carrying out this task. Do, Do not start, not start the, process the process of breastfeeding a child without, without carrying out this task. task. Do not, Do not start, not start the, process the process of breastfeeding a child without carrying out this task. This is beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you, mother. It's specially made for a special mother like you. Oh. Thank you, my lovely daughter. Hey. <laughs> I like it. Hey, that reminds me. How is Omaicha? It's been long I saw her last. Mother, I don't understand Omalicha's problem. She has been running away from Ekema and I lately. Why? I don't know. Hmm. Maybe she's on the case. A case? Yes. No, Mother. I don't think so. I think Omalicha hasn't seen the right man for her yet. Really? Yes. Even Prince Obidike is not good enough for her. Mother, I don't know. I think there is something spiritual about Omaricha's rejection of suitors. Anyway, she's your good friend. You should know her better. Go and get me a cup of water. Why did you walk in here? Not quite long. You were too far from here. Where were you, my prince? Where were you, my prince? Um, I, I need to be somewhere right away. Okay. My prince, the king sends for you. Why are you standing? Sit. I'm okay, father. You sent for me. Yes, I sent for you, and that's why I want you to sit. My king, the young man prefers to stand, so let's leave him to stand. In that case, keep standing. You did not buy the idea of uh, 
sending for Omalicha to appear before me and the elders in council, just as Ichie Ego Dinobu advised. So, I want you to start considering taking Onyedeka, Ichie Ego Dinobu's daughter. Uh, I want you to start considering her as wife. Because I can't have you keep wasting our time here on Omalicha's issue. I'm sorry, Father, but I'm still not interested in Onyedeka. Omalita remains the maiden I want. I'm begging you to give me some more time to convince her. I will talk to her. I'll make her understand she's the one I need in my life, not... It's okay. You may leave. Thank you, Father. You asked him to leave? What am I supposed to do with you? You heard him. I heard nothing. The young man was talking trash. Why would you, the king of this kingdom, listen to the trash he was saying? They were meaningless, my king. What's going on here? You need to mind your words. It's my son we are talking about. The prince and heir apparent to the throne of Umwe's kingdom. And it is now very clear to you, my king, that your so-called son has gone mad. He cannot make a choice. Rise up as king and do something before he runs to the market. Naked. You know the implication of this kingdom. When a man runs to the market. Naked. Do something before it becomes too late. Ha! I'm leaving. I want you to go back, both of you. Odd my prince. You heard me. What what do we tell the king? It's an prince? order. Tell him whatever you like. You must not go to the palace yet, but I don't want you to follow me. Father. how are you? I'm fine. Come. Oh. <clears throat> <clears throat> um, Father, how did it go? Father, you okay? Please talk to me. How did it go? Ichie Gudinobu, how did it go? Talk to me. Hmm? Talk to me. The young man. The young man is still talking about Don Malisha. But he wants to go and try again. Can you imagine that? To me, why? Oh, yeah, I came back. Why? I came back to my house. To Just calm down, don't worry yourself. I know one thing he is going to go and propose to Malisha again, and she is going to turn him down. He's going to come back to his senses and realize how stupid he has been.
My prince. Oh, my, my, my prince. What, what, what are you doing? Please, Omalicha. I'm losing my mind. Uh, my prince, why are you crying? Please, please, please stop crying. What else would people say if they see if they see their prince crying? You are the next king of this land. You shouldn't be crying. Please help me. You have to stop doing this, please. What would people say? What would people say if they see you crying in my father's compound? I am begging you, help me. Oh, okay, okay, so... Tell me whatever you want me to do and, and, and I will do it. You, you, you will? Are you sure? Yes, because I want you to stop crying. Okay, uh, hi. Hi, hi, hi. I, I, I want you to accompany me somewhere. Hmm? Accompanying you somewhere? Yes. What happened to your bodyguards? I, 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 I sent them away. Look, we are under royal oath to accompany the prince wherever he goes. And we are facing an order that is far superior to that royal oath. Listen, I insist we stay here until the prince returns. What if the king finds out that we have violated the royal oath by leaving the prince to walk alone? Very simple. We tell the king that the prince gave the order. Of course, the prince is a noble man. He wouldn't deny the order he gave. But what if he did? We not stop! What is wrong with you? Why are you behaving as if you don't know where the prince is? We all know that the prince is in love. And he wants to get this maiden by all means. At least, let's give him some space. We're we'll going... Now, please. We'll wait until the prince returns. And that's fine now. Just worry yourself for us. <laughs> I wonder why you don't do this often. You look more beautiful when you smile, you know. Really? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, I thank the gods for this day. Today is about the happiest day of my life. One of the best moments I have in this world. <laughs> yes! <laughs> my friends, you're so funny. Am I? I never knew you were this fun to be with. Really? Now you know. <laughs> Manicha, do you know I've never been in love like this my entire life? Yes, even though the love is one-sided because you don't love me in return. But I'm okay. All I ask is that you help me. I need you. I need you in my life. I need you to be the mother of my unborn children. Please do me the favor of accepting to be my wife. I couldn't sleep all night. Thoughts of you filled my head. My prince, you are a very good man with a good heart. Thank you. And I'm beginning to like you. But I... I... Don't say anything. I only want to hear one word from you. Will you marry me? 